What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Blue Collar Outdoor TV. On today's video, we're gonna be talking all about these guys right here. And what is in my opinion, the best bait you can throw all year round to catch large and smallmouth bass. If you like this type of stuff, go ahead and hit that like button. Also subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell. That way you can get more content like this. We're always rolling out content and trying to get you guys the best content out there, whether I'm out fishing or trying to provide you with a few fishing tips and related content along the way. Guys, please join us and let's get going with this video. Okay, we're always on a mission to catch as many bass as we possibly can and do it year round and we wanna do it effectively. And for me, there's no better bait that I can use for all around fish catching ability than a jig, okay? A skirted jig if we wanna be specific. Okay, and with the skirted jig, there's a lot of different styles, guys. We got swim jigs, we got flipping jigs, we got skipping jigs, we got every freaking jig in between. We got football head jigs, we got all, all kinds of jigs. It's <laughs> too many to count. Okay, I keep it really simple. I get these Strike King Pro Model jigs, I get these in the big full size 3 8 ounce jig, and also the Bitsy Bug jigs. Typically, on the bottom shelf at Walmart, they'll have them for like $2.50 and I'll play a reel right now, kind of showing you where they're at. Guys, that should give you a little bit of an idea of where they're at at your Walmart. And typically, they're always on that bottom shelf. And you saw the bin said, let's get jiggy with it or something like that. Some, some cheesy slogan there. But guys, these jigs are freaking awesome. These Strike King Pro Model jigs, if you buy them without the kit, you can't even hardly get them for $250. Okay, I think they're like closer to four bucks or something like that if you buy them separate. But this kit comes with two Strike King Rage Crawls inside there. And I'm telling you, Things are always getting hung up on those claws and ripping the claws off or maybe you hook into a fish and it rips the claws off it happens all the time uh, so having an extra trailer in there is really nice and i always buy a ton of these guys i have them um, pre-rigged up and actually i have a uh, net bait chunk on this one it's still the pro model jig uh, i have a bunch of these i have a ton of the green pumpkin i'll just show you my little box right here a ton of the green pumpkin. Looks like I need to stock up on the, the black and blue here. And then I got some of these big football head jigs. And these are also in the bin. They, they'll have a few different colors of the football head jigs. And I like these in brown. Brown is an awesome jig color too, by the way. Uh, it's hard to find the pro model jigs in a brown, but this green pumpkin is really, really nice. Hey guys, now that I've showed you what kind of jigs I use, I'm gonna tell you why I think the jig is, in my opinion, the best bait you can throw year round if you only had one bait to use. Guys, it just works. It imitates crawfish, it imitates bait fish. You can swim this, you can pop it across the bottom, you can imitate kind of whatever you wanna imitate. Okay, and using different colors, let's say, guys, once again, skirted jig, I didn't say what kind, we have a swim jig. This right here, can mimic a bait fish, shad, whatever it may be, that's swimming in your water that looks like this, okay? Keeping it simple, guys, a skirted jig is just awesome. And if I had to, I could even flip and pitch this thing. Okay, you could skip this thing. There's all kinds of versatility that goes into a jig. Okay, that's why, in my opinion, a jig is the best. And guys, a water temperature does not control whether or not you can throw a jig or not, like some baits, you know, they perform very, very well in the summer, some perform very well in the fall and spring, and some just don't perform at all in the wintertime. Not the case with a skirted jig. Okay, in the wintertime, I find that throwing a black and blue big jig is really, really gonna turn those large mouth on, and even the small mouth. I'll play a clip right now of me catching, at that point was my personal best small mouth, and it was on this big pro model Strike King jig.
All right, you saw there, guys, that thing was a freaking tank, and actually, I was out doing a rod review on the Abu Garcia Blue Max, and that thing just hit it out of nowhere. I was just making some random casts out in the middle of the river, just showing how well the reel performed, and guys, I caught that almost five pound smallmouth, and guys, it was a freaking tank, boys, and it hit that tank status. But that just goes to show you, smallmouth and largemouth can also hit this big 3 8 ounce Pro Model Jig. But typically, if I'm only smallmouth fishing, I'm gonna throw these Bitsy Bug Jigs. And these are just like a small scaled down version of those pro model jigs and it doesn't have the rattle. Okay, these also come with trailers and it comes with the Strike King Menace trailer. And I'll show you right here. This is the Menace trailer right there. And you can separate the little flanges or you can leave them together depending on how much action you actually want out of this. And guys, these Bitsy Bug jigs are really nice it's a small profile so if you're trying to really trigger those small mouth you're gonna do it. it has a really nice little weed guard here and these don't tend to get hooked up too much on anything else but they do hook up good on fish that hook barb is really nice and sharp and it does penetrate very well this is just a really good profile bait if you're targeting small mouth and guys this could also catch large mouth if you're a spinning rod fisherman like i i am for smallies Guys, look at that. I have a little, this isn't a Bitsy Bug jig. This is a ball head jig that I also picked up from Walmart. I can't remember what brand this is, but it's the same size as a Bitsy Bug jig. And I fished that on just a medium power spinning rod. And that really, really works out really well for those smallies. And guys, right here, I have my medium heavy power Abu Garcia Roxani hooked up with this really big Strike King Pro Model jig. And these things just are awesome. So I feel like I'm kind of rambling on about how awesome these baits are and how well they do work year round. And you can use them mid of the summer, fall, spring, winter time. They are gonna work, I promise you, promise you. Jared Swindle talks about it all the time, guys. Throw a jig all the time. And he's right, he is one of the ones that really got me on a jig kick. Even as a kid, you know, I would pop open my dad's tackle box and there was always jigs in it. And, you know, it never really occurred to me, you know, river fishing, those jigs really, really work. And it kind of translated over into my teenage years. And now I just throw jigs a lot. And especially if I'm trying to target large and small mouth bass all at the same time, I'm really going to throw a jig. And especially during the winter time, they just seem to work when nothing else will. So that is going to be my go-to bait. And guys, like I've said in previous videos, I keep it really simple with the colors. Both the Bitsy Bug and the Pro Model jigs, I'm gonna go with black and blue and the green pumpkin. I'm gonna throw the black and blue pretty much any time. It doesn't really matter, I can throw this. I wouldn't throw it in perfectly clear water, but anything else I would throw a black and blue, and especially during the winter time when the water is cold, this really works. And if the water is super clear and then any time it's not super muddy, you can throw the green pumpkin and it just seems more natural to the fish and it really, really catches a lot of bass. I love the green pumpkin as well. So you can't really go wrong with either one of these. I've even caught fish on the black and blue in very clear water. So there you go. Just go get you some. Go get you some of these Strike King Pro Model jigs. They're 250 guys at Walmart. You can't beat that. And like we're always trying to do on this channel, keeping it blue collar, you just can't go wrong there. I'm telling you. Go pick up some. Every time I go to Walmart, guys, I pick up like four or five of these and I just keep my box stocked up with them and you can't go wrong. So guys, another reason the jig is so effective is if you're used to fishing crankbaits, jerk baits, anything like that that gets hung up a lot, these baits do not get hung up much, okay? They go over the cover very well, this big thick weed guard here. If I can get all the little tentacles off of it. This big thick weed guard is gonna repel the cover and keep it away from that hook point. Okay, and it's really gonna not get hung up on much. And I would be lying if I didn't say you're gonna hook, get hooked up some. Yes, you will get hooked up some, but not near as much as everything else. And that's gonna allow you to really get in the structure, get in that cover, you know, really and really flip those baits into that cover and get it right in front of that fish where you're literally dropping it right on top of those fish. 
So that leads me into talking about how I fish a jig. Okay, it depends on what I'm fishing off of. If I'm fishing off of my John boat, I do a lot of flipping and pitching into the cover. That way it prevent, presents a really good presentation. It's not a large splash. It doesn't scare the fish. It just drops in nice and easy into that cover and then they see it present right in front of them. And guys, hopefully I can get a target reaction out of it. And if they don't hit it on the fall, which a lot of times they'll hit it on the fall if you're pitching into cover, if not, I'm just gonna sit there and twitch the bait some and then work it back to me nice and slow, just popping it off the bottom. Other times I might make a really long cast and then just you know work it like a Texas rig where I'm just bouncing it and popping it across the bottom. Other times, you know, if I'm fishing for smallmouth, I'll throw this in a bunch of rocks and just work it across a rock ledge. I'll work it across a little hole that's in the river, really targeting those smallies. And there's just no rhyme or reason to how you have to fish a jig. Guys, just throw it out there and retrieve it back in. You can just, if you want to just drag it across the bottom nice and slow, go for it. It catches fish. You saw in that previous video right there, uh, the little clip of me catching that almost five pound smallie, I was just dragging it across the bottom, not even trying to fish. And that big dude hit it. So you don't have to get fancy with it, guys. Keeping it blue collar, keeping it simple is simple and effective, I promise you. All right, guys, before I ramble on too much, I'll save that for other videos. Go ahead, get out there, fish some jigs. I'm telling you, a jig can catch fish year round, and that's why I think it is my favorite and go-to bait to fish all year round. Doesn't matter if the water's cold, doesn't matter if it's dead of summer, it's gonna catch bass. Guys, if you like this video, go ahead and leave a like. Also, subscribe to the channel. That way you can get more content like this every single week. And guys, if you have any comments or wanna leave some comments below on what your favorite bait is to fish year round, once again, this is just my opinion. I get it, may not be your favorite bait. You don't have to agree with me. This is just my opinion. Please, please don't take offense to this. And guys, tell me what your favorite bait is to fish year round. Everybody has their own personal preference on what their confidence bait is. This is just one of my confidence baits. And guys, if you like this video, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe to the channel, turn on that notification bell. And guys, until the next time, keep it blue collar.